My name is Ava Reed, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the basic setup for everything we need to get started to make your own video game using C++ and SDL2. So this is the first step of my tutorial series, where this month I'm going to be making a whole entire game. It's going to be pretty simple, but the game is just going to be based on your guys' ideas on the comment section and on my Reddit post, which I'll be posting every single uh, for each single video I do. So today I'm just going to get started and show you guys how to set up things and what we're going to need to install to get started um, to make our own game in C++. So my tutorial is going to be using Linux, but I'm going to have for you guys the places you guys need to check if you want, if you want to be making your game in Windows and Mac and a lot of the things are already very similar. So I'm going to either tell you guys what to do in the video and if it's not going to work, I'm going to have it in the description and I'll tell you guys where to go and if that even leads to a problem, I'll be able to solve it in the comment sections. So what we're going to want to do first is download our library that we're going to be using, which is SDL. So there's three different libraries we're going to be using for SDL2. There's the main SDL2 library, there's the font library, and there's the image library. And I'll have all these in the descriptions. So what you want to do, just based on what you're running, you're going to want to download them for Windows, Mac, or Linux. I'll show you how to do it on Linux in a minute. So you just download them. This one's going to be a DLL file, which is just a library file, and you can go and put that with the rest of your libraries. And the Mac file is a DMG file. I think you just click it, and it will just have a little setup wizard. And it's the same with the TTF file. Um, Windows is just going to be a library file. The Mac is going to be an install thing. and I'll show you how to set up on Linux in a minute. And the image file is going to be the exact same thing. The library file, the install wizard, and how to set up. So how to set it up on Linux. So I'm running Debian. So I'm going to be using the app to get. And there's a few things you can install all at once. And I'll show you exactly what's being installed after I run this. I'll have this in the description, but I'm just installing the SDL2 library and then everything under the SDL2 library. That's what asterisk for. And then for the font and the image, so let's get this set up. So right here it showed which ones I selected. So I'll have the, these listed right here in the description. So I just have the um, these are where the asterisk ones I have just selected. So these are all the image files, all the TTF files, and these are the extra files I did alongside this one right here. This is the main one. Um, so I have already have everything installed, so that installed pretty quickly. But everything, when you guys are doing all this, that might it might take up to a few minutes, but it's not too bad. Um, so the next thing where you want to do is to get a text editor. So depending on what you're running on, um, Windows, Linux, or Mac, you're going to get different things. So if you're running on Linux, I would advise you to get Atom. There's a few other text editors, such as Sublime. And Sublime is very similar to Atom. It's, but I, I used to use it, but once I got into Atom, I think Atom's a lot nicer. They both have themes, and they both have add-ons, and they're both, they're both pretty nice, but Atom's just a little bit better, um, at least I think so. You can go ahead and download the Debian file, and you can install it with a, a little pop-up window that I've installed, but for me, I just go and use sudo dpackage my, uh, minus i, and then the file, and that'll install it fairly quickly. It's I think it's the easiest way to install it because sometimes the other things might have problems. But either way, this is how you install the Debian file. And in RPM, I think if that's used in something other than Debian, maybe the, I'm not quite sure, but a different Linux version, probably like Red Hat or something like that. Um, so now there's going to be two different things you want to do. If you're going to be running on Windows, you're going to get C++ and um, and your IDE all at the same time is going to be using Visual Studio Studio IDE. You can go ahead and download this. It'll be on probably just the Community 2017. It's going to have a little wizard setup thing for you to follow through. The Xcode is going to have the same thing. For some reason, last time I checked, their website wasn't loading, but maybe it's going to load this time. So the Xcode is just for this is for Mac users. It's it's a IDE developed by Apple, so it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty it's good if you're using Apple, but I've heard it's not the very best thing. But um. And this, right here is a channel that I really recommend. It's called The Cherno Project. This guy, he used to have some video series where he showed you guys how to make games. Um, they're kind of older, but he has a lot of stuff for me. He has Ludum Dare stuff. But recently he's been doing Beginner's Beginner's Guide for C++. So right here I'll have references to these three videos. Um, for the most part, you don't really need C++ for Linux, so that's very simple, and I'll show you guys how to do it up. But this is how to set it up on Mac and how to set it up on Windows. So I'll get these in the description. The Mac, see, it's only three and a half minutes. They're pretty short videos on just how to set up these things so you can compile C++. Um, so if you want to compile C++ on Linux, it's um, you can just get the compiler 
and the compiler I'm not really positive but it's probably already pre-installed on all Linuxes I'm not really sure but it's gonna be called G++ um, there's another option is GCC but I think that might only be for C but I'm pretty sure you can do C++ with it as well so now the next thing we're gonna need to get is our um, graphics uh, designing kit and there's I know there's Photoshop. Photoshop it's is not free. I don't believe I've never used it before, because um, all these things have installs. But some of you guys might have Photoshop because it's really popular. So I assume a lot of you guys do. Or if you want to get it, because I know it's a good investment if you have it. Um, so because you, you're most likely use it a lot in the future. So you can always get a Photoshop. But what I recommend would be GIMP. It's it's very similar to Photoshop, but it's open source, meaning it's free, and it. It just has a lot of the stuff Photoshop has. It's a little bit different. It might take a little bit of time getting used to, but I'll show you guys how to use it when I use it in my videos. So you're going to want to just download. These are the downloads for them. Uh, direct download, I guess. It depends. So this is a DMG, so that's going to be a Mac. So you're going to want to just click on the download. And there's going to be new Linux OS and Microsoft. So I'll just click on there. You can click on the direct download, and I'll have the install for it. So Windows will have executable. This will be a DMG. And this one will probably have a couple options. But if you're on Debian, you can just install. And then GIMP, and that's going to set it up for you. So this is everything for today. I'm going to have another series set up on how to make just a basic window and put in some graphics. And it's going to be really, it, we're going to make a game in a month. That's basically how it's going to be. And you guys can leave the comments of what you guys need to do. And we're going to follow along and I'll show you guys everything. So that's all for today. Thanks for following along. Just leave in the comments if you have any problems, any questions. And also remember to check the descriptions. And I'll be posting about this on the Reddit forum. And I'll put the link to the Reddit forum in the description as well. All right. Thanks a lot. And you guys have a good rest of your days.